Hello, my name is Rainer Hanekamp. This is Engine News with the latest updates from the Angular community in 100 seconds every week. The Angular team published a pre-RFC that they are going to implement signals. Compared to the revolution of the standalone components, the impact of signals will be way bigger. Unsurprisingly, that announcement caused quite some thrill in the community. So what are signals? Compared to other frameworks, we don't have to run the rendering DOM update process manually. Sonejs does it for us. Every time a DOM event happens or an asynchronous task ends, Sonejs notifies Angular. Why? Because these are the places where our application code runs and potentially changes state. So Angular goes through all the components, searches for changes and updates the DOM. That is what we call change detection. With signals, we apply our changes to reactive data structures that Angular is subscribing to. And that without the help of Sonejs. What are the next steps? We have to wait for a detailed RFC, but you can already try it out. Enea Yahurari found the Signals branch on GitHub, extracted the code and provided a running application on Stackplits. You should also watch Brandon Roberts' video together with Alex Rickabo. The introduction of signals will be a monumental milestone. We get more performance and less complexity. A lot of performance patterns will require a rethinking or will even become unnecessary. That's it. Wishing you a nice week and see you next Monday. Goodbye.